So, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to share document using the direct share function as opposed to a general share. So, we got a document here with some text in and we want to share, share it with someone else. So what we'll do is like as per normal, you click on the share button and as per normal you can you choose this get shareable link and you can then give that to anyone. In this case we don't want to do that. What we want to do is we want to go down here and we want to provide the name of the person that we are sharing um, the document with. So in this case it could be me. And I'm giving myself access to be able to edit it. And that's about it. Send. So I'm going to sign into the account that I sent the invite to. We can see in here I received a new invite. So all I need to do to access the document and start editing it is simply click on this button, open in docs. And I'm now signing into the old account I was um, in, so in other words, the account that I set up the document with in the first place. And we can see up here, last edit was made two minutes ago by me. And in here you can see in red for the touch bar. So that's me who's made this edit there. And in green. You can see all of the bits that's in green, which is my other Gmail account which I've used in there. And that is essentially the difference between using a direct invite method and using a general invite method that everyone can use to join your document that is that you can see the, 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 the individual people who have made changes to the document